All right, so today all I really want to do is kind of go uh, to where fish are busted. I want to look for actively feeding fish, uh, whether it be on bait or points of interest like oysters, and just points like river creek points. Uh, so we're just looking for fish that are going to be busting up. Uh, this time of year, they've been shallow because all the bait is really shallow. There isn't much big bait around, a little deeper for the most part. Um, so, you know, four feet, I'd say four foot and less is the, the game for the day, so. That's right, we got ourselves a mullet. A dozen or two dozen is probably going to be about right. All right, we netted ourselves about, I'd say a dozen mullet. They're actually kind of hard to the net. The tide isn't low enough just yet. Yeah, I don't even know how I want to fish these mullet. I think I want to fish shallow, so that means maybe just on floats. I guess we'll just see, you know, how fish bite, etc. Let's see what we got there. Maybe a red drum. That's uh, on a net rig. Oh my gosh. It is a red drum. Ned rig drum. I picked up these Ned rigs. Uh, I think it's a TRD Craw, Craw Z, the letter Z, um, because uh, I noticed the last time I was out here, fish are really feeding on shrimp for the most part. Well, that's not a bad drum. It's a good start for the, the morning. That's the lure right here. TRD Craws. You want to get those Ned Locks. I think they call them the Ned Locks heads because they have a pretty good hook. Yikes. Mr. Redfish, chill, my friend. Chill, chill. See, that's how Redfish swims. He just puckers around on the bottom. Pretty decent one. Most of them have been about this size. So I'd say plus or minus two inches. It's like 23, 24, somewhere around there. But like, look at that wiggle. I know, it looks silly. But let's see, it's got like that little flap that looks like some kind of tasty crustacean for a red drum. What kind of leader should we use? 20, okay, we got 20, that's good enough. These are made by owner, I think. No, these are um, VMC's inlines. And what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna pitch a live mullet right on that bank there. Put a little split shot just in case there's a flounder. A lot of the bigger flounder right now have been coming out shallow water. I'm talking like three feet. Um, Cause that's where all the bait is. Mullet and shrimp are up real shallow. So yeah, most of the flatties have been shallow. So you don't want that guy to swim away too easily. All right, and we're gonna go like that. About a foot and a half, two feet. Two feet's about right. That's basically where we're gonna be chucking our baits. We're gonna go through the back, I think. Right about there, seems right. There you go. Um, I mean, you go through the lips. That's what we're gonna go with for this, though. Now let's see if anyone's home. Oh my God, did he get crushed immediately? He did. Instant. a nice slot redfish. We are using, utilizing this kayak's capabilities of spot lock and chill fishing. Well, circle hooks certainly do work well. Oh, I broke that one. All right, well, he's got a little tattoo left for him. Peace. Ready for action. I don't think we're gonna find any real big drum here, but you never know. Usually these fish tend to be uh, on the smaller side in this in this area. So we're gonna go right through his back like that. Oh no, get back here my friend. Got a little split shot. So he's near the bottom, just in case we got a big flounder around here. It's possible. And we're ready for, ready for whatever is next. Uh oh. kind of fun. 
I haven't done much of this, man. I'm actually having a good time doing this. Every my new weekend thing, I guess, when it's busy. Everywhere else, throw some corks and some mullet and go to town, huh? We have one bump on the shrimp. I'm not gonna on the, the artificial shrimp. But I just decided to might as well use our mullets, huh? It'll be number four. All right, peace out, Mr. Red Drum. That would be number four. Same class, more or less. Good fun. I'm guessing I'm casting into like two feet there, maybe in a foot and a half. Cast it out and boom. There's like a little whirlpool there of current coming off a couple different spots, so it's probably where most of our reds are. Looks like a bigger wake. Golly, gosh, get out of there. bigger drum though it really is nice a little better one powerful fish man power little powerhouses here that guy's on a lot of stomach to him he's been eating good cool fish huh In terms of fish, you could hook in like two feet of water or less consistently. They're probably the, the best fighting one. Golly, gosh, how are these fish like doing that? I'm drum hole, that's what I'm gonna call it. Meg was supposed to come out with me today. She wasn't feeling that well, man. This been a great day of fishing. I really wanted to get her to do this. Just to get her, you know, her taste in saltwater fishing. This is by no means, you know, complicated fishing. It's something I don't do much of. Um, but, you know, you can't argue with results, man. How many fish you can catch doing this in a day. You can just sit there and catch them and catch them and catch them. Um, I should work these artificials a little more, though. Maybe I gotta figure out what they're gonna eat. It's that August temperature, like 83. These are like mullet, 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 mullet. Another nice one. All right, man. Growing to a giant. Growing to a giant. Got him. See if this one's gonna pull me off spot lock actually. Smash that savage gear shrimp. This fella's moving water. He's pull, pull me off, trying to pull me off that spot lock too. Better fish, oh, definitely a better one. better fish for sure all right got a much better one on that savage ear shrimp just now see that's the lure he liked I like that lure for these flats and shallow water all right man there's such crazy fish we got one on a ned rig one on a savage shrimp like four or five maybe something like that on the uh on the what's it called live mullet. Man, usually don't find like huge packs of fish just like this here. All right, man, I'll see you later. Whew. These shrimps weigh a quarter ounce. 
Yeah, they're quarter ounce shrimps. Uh, they're good, they don't, um, that swim bait hook definitely settles nicely sometimes too, so you never know. Flounder like them too, speckled trout. I'm running out of water here. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm running out of water, but I want to fish a couple of different areas. How many more breads can we do, right? Hit a couple of these spots, corners, points, etc. This flounder probably are gonna be not very deep. Three to five feet, I guess. But they'll be nice close to these banks and stuff. Carolina rig, very simple, effective. something it's got to be a drum really that doesn't happen that often black drum on a mullet yeah that doesn't happen very often Guess the mullet catches them all. That doesn't happen too often. Um, these guys, black drum, are primarily crustacean eaters. They'll eat um, crabs and clams and fun stuff. Shrimps. Mullet? I don't know. I think it kind of happens here and there, but not too often. I guess it depends on his mood. Can be pretty adaptable, I guess. They are severely underrated fish, though. Something's on there. Red? Gonna find out. Oh, yeah, son. That'll work. I'm on the mullet train here. Oh yeah. I'm on the mullet train. Hell yeah. Like it's funny, you know, I'm so confident in my artificial whew, got beat up on those oysters. I'm so confident in my artificial flounder game. Twenty and a half, that's not bad. We're gonna bleed them out and get them on ice. Nice. Very happy. You gotta fish with mullet more, huh? It's a nice fish. And I think that's a scar, my guess, but you never know. That could be. Alrighty. I'm happy with some fish that size. 20 inches I'm very happy with. You know, 15s and 16s. Nah, 20 inches, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah. That's a red fish though. I don't know. Don't do enough of this live mullet stuff to know, really know what the hell I'm hooking here. I think I've been missing out on a lot though, not fishing live bait in the least this time of year. Hey, we're going for the, for the ride, man. Whew. Much nicer fish. All right, since spot lock. Can't beat that either. Now I can organize myself. Spottail channel bass. That's a better fish. That one's probably closer to 26, 27. Peace. Golly, there's so many reds out here. It's a nicer one though.
Z-Man Paddler Z. Oh, we got a definitely a, a lit up fish today. This fish has got a, quite a few uh, tribal markings. If you want to put it like that, a lot of spots. Look at that. All right, man. I'll see you later. Plenty of redfish activity. I think we're good on those. I'd like to get one more flounder, but I understand that I did the whatever's biting card, so whatever's biting is what I get, you know? Right, we got one last spot here. Sometimes it holds a flounder or two. I guess we're hooked up. Not a flounder though. Red drum probably. Huh! Look at that! You know what that is? That's no redfish. That is a uh, southern kingfish or whiting. Wow. That's kind of cool. Yep. Totally different fish. We'll do those whiting videos soon. I'm going to put him back for another day. That's a pretty nice one, actually. Uh, th this particular species doesn't grow as big as the other one for the most part. But uh, yeah, I didn't really realize they, were, they ate uh, fish species like. Um, like mullet and stuff. I thought they'd be more or less exclusively only on uh, clams and shrimp. Look at that stingray. Wow, look at that thing. Jeez Louise. A lot of different fish today. That right there. Is the, the greatest cut bait. And also, pretty uh, nuisancey fish right there. The ladyfish. Gosh. Thank you. Really a tough fish to deal with. Poor man's tarpon, huh? All right. Well, that was a very good day of fishing. I don't live bait fish a whole lot, and I think I really want to start doing more of that. That made it a whole lot easier. And it was fun to mix up uh, artificial and live bait. So, you know, when I kind of found a couple of fish, yeah, sure, I was able to pick up a couple more on artificials. I think we had like four or five redfish on artificials already making it a decent outing. One black drum, one southern kingfish or whiting, um, ladyfish, 20 and a half inch flounder. Um, I would have liked to have seen more of those. Those redfish were in all those areas that, you know, I could easily pick up flounder. I didn't want to go too far where I couldn't net any more bait. Netting bait was a little tougher than it was the last time I tried that. Geico advertisement up there. The fish were so close to me, I wasn't scaring them, um, especially at the beginning of the morning. I was throwing the, that little, that float out two feet in front of me and still getting rocked. So uh, at the same time, it, it's a real stealth platform. So I hope you fellas enjoyed. Check out the video's description for all the lures we were using to catch reds. Um, I know guys want to see bigger flounder. I've seen that comment a lot. Uh, 20, 20 inches and change is not a bad fish, but we didn't see the quantity. So that's about it. Uh, I hope you fellas enjoyed. I had a, a good time. This is probably a real long video. We'll see what the next video brings. Uh, thanks for tuning in.